So today we're at the shop and uh, little John is working on his rotating assembly for his 5-3. Uh, John, tell us about, about what's going on. Well, today we're just doing the, the rotating assembly. Uh, the machine shop uh, did have to turn the crank 10, 000, or 20 thousandths, 10 thousandths. Uh, so we're putting uh, 10 thousandths undersized uh, crank bearings, uh, main bearings in. Um, and also had to turn the connecting rod journals uh, 10,000 also. Um, this motor is a used motor. Um, the vehicle it pulled from uh, had a major oiling failure uh, which caused the bearings to seize up so uh, the machine shop was able to salvage the crank uh, and the connecting rods. Uh, there was have to be, it did have to be uh, undersized. So today we're just going to go ahead and put the uh, undersized bearings in and and get the crank bolted and torqued into, into place. Cool deal. So your first step then is to go ahead and set your bearings. Then you're going to set the crank so it's a stock 5.3 crank. Is stock that correct? Stock 5.3 crank. Uh, did they have to bore the cylinders at all? Uh, yes. The cylinders did have to be uh, bored 20 thousandths. Um, so i uh, got 20 thousandths over pistons and 20 thousandths uh, over uh, rings. Good deal. And of course this was sent to uh, Rogers who uh, did the same work for my uh, uh, 318 stroker motor, which you guys seen the video on that. We pointed some good work that they did out here, and they're really familiar with the 5.3s as well. All right, John, I'm not going to stand your way much longer. We're just going to let you do your things. All right. And then uh, hit me up with the numbers and what's on with the uh, torque down and all that good stuff, and we'll put that on the video itself. So here we go video montage. Make sure your caps go the right way uh, on the GM53s, your tabs point forward. I always like to have a lot of extra assembly lube, never hurts. On your GM 5.3s, your center crank bearing is also a thrust washer. Uh, that's why it's designed that way. So just make sure you remember that when you're assembling these. That is your center line. Uh, it does have that thrust washer. So make sure that gets done. I'm only using this to get them down flush. My impact is on its lowest setting, so it won't tighten anything. It's just getting them close to the bottom. What's the rated foot power? Uh, the torque spec. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a spe very specific sequence uh, for this application. GM recommends. Uh, torquing them at 15 foot-pounds but on this sequence you start with the inners so you're going to tighten the uh, inner bolt to 15 foot-pounds then you're going to go uh, and you're actually going to tap the crank and then you're going to tap it back to get it back to neutral that way it aligns that center thrust washer then you're going to go back and uh, retorque the uh, first uh, set, the inner side, um, an uh, additional 
80 degrees. Um, now I'm using a special snap-on torque wrench that will give me uh, an accurate degree. Um, then you go back and tighten the outer side, the same sequence, 15 foot-pounds, um, and then you're going to go back on the outer studs uh, an additional 50 degrees. So interesting, so they do it by degrees, not by foot-pounds. Right, so the initial 15 foot-pounds is just to kind of set everything in place, lock it down. Um, and then once you get the top side done, then you go into the side uh, bolts. Mm -hmm. And then you torque the side bolts uh, to 18 foot-pounds and that's it. Good deal. So and then your sequence. bottom end's done. All right, so make sure I get the sequence right. All of them 15, starting with the outers, then get the inners. No. Okay. You're going with the inners first. Inners first. Yeah, and the sequence is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like the Mopar, okay. Then you're going to tap the outsides with a rubber mallet to align that thrust washer. Then you're going to go in and retorque that same sequence 80 degrees. Uh, that's quite a bit, but it's not too bad because it's only torqued to 15 foot-pounds. Okay. Then you go back and tighten the studs to the so 15, 15 foot-pounds foot kind of in the, the very same sequence, just in the outer side. And then you go 50 degrees on the stud stop. Awesome. I'll let you do that in action. We'll see it. All right, so the first sequence, 15 foot-pounds. Okay, we got the first torque sequence done, uh, which you just saw me tapping the, the crank. Uh, I would like to note that under normal high performance applications, you want a thread lubricant. Uh, because these bolts stretch, ideally you put a little bit of thread lubricant on the threads so when they stretch, it seats a little bit better. Um, this is not really a super high performance uh, race motor. Uh, so I'm not too concerned um, with that. You can use um, a little bit of uh, uh, grease will help, uh, but it's not always necessary. Uh, even assembly lube would help, uh, but it's not necessary for this application uh, just because it's going to be a daily driver and we're not putting 800 horsepower to the bottom end. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you really want it done uh, with a high performance setup, make sure you use a thread lubricant. Uh, you can get that at a local auto parts store or online. I notice how the uh, caps went down when you pulled that down, so I can see why you have to redo those. Yeah, so now we're going to torque these back in sequence at 80 degrees. Um, also, when torquing uh, with uh, any torque wrench, when you get that initial starting to tight, you don't want to stop and go back and let the uh, torque wrench ratchet. That way you get one solid smooth pull. That way you're not having to go back and now it's back at torque. You want that consistent movement, uh, not stopping, so uh, you can get the adequate torque what is recommended. So just keep that in mind, one solid motion. Uh, when you're doing degrees, it's not as important, but when you're doing any kind of, of uh, newton meter torque, foot pound, inch pound, Make sure it's a consistent motion until it either clicks or buzzes. So my torque wrench does degrees, so we'll let the calibrate. All right, so now it's set for 80 degrees, and let's torque it down to 80 degrees. So we're torquing the studs to 15 foot-pounds. That's 
sequence is done. So now we're going to do uh, 51 degrees. All right, those are torque to sequence. Now, finally, is the side bolts. Uh, and these will be torqued to 18 foot-pounds. Uh, there is no specific sequence for tightening the outside bolts. So just make sure your torque wrench is set up for 18 foot -pounds. Okay, me and Sheen Shop did the, uh, miss one. Uh, so we're going to go in and uh, tap up and uh, re-thread this 